I've been asked a few times how I assemble the roll cages into the cars, how you get to the point of welding over the top of the roll cage and um, making it all uh, easy to assemble and so on. So, I've, so there's the basic roll cage I've done in red. So that's the uh, main hoop and that's the front um, bars going down the front legs and obviously you have a windscreen bar going across. But um, we'll start with that. So I'll make up the main hoop and I'll stand it in position and brace it in position. And then I um, will go ahead and fold up and bend up my front bars, left and right, and the windscreen bar. Tack off the windscreen bar that I will put across the, the top of the car. And then what I will do then is I will release all of this and drop it down. So that's the bar, the front um, windscreen bar, front legs. I will release them from the top. I'll drop them down like this. Then I'll have the, the, wind, the windscreen, the crossbar there, and the diagonal across that I'll put in the roof. I will weld all that as well. I'll do another picture of that and just show you. Now that I've welded across the top here, I can actually then weld the front bars to the main hoop down under here, which I'll do. And I'll weld also on both sides and if there's a V or a diagonal in the roof, I'll weld that at the same time. What I do is I drill a hole through the floor pan of the car. I'll drop the roll cage down. And then while the roll cage is down through the, through the floor, not a very good drawing, but I can then weld over the top here I can finish anything I didn't do there and the cross that is in the top I can weld any section of that while it's down here. Once you finish that the whole lot goes back up again and you I'll put my little just a, a rectangle underneath these two corners here which the cage will then sit on. I can um, get it positioned. At that stage I can tack the cage into position. Just tack weld it into position do all cross, cross measurements and so on and when I'm happy with that I'll then go ahead in the back of the car here where the, the inner wheel well at the back there is wherever you bring your back bar back to it can be onto that tub there or it can be onto a suspension member but as long as it's not inside not outside the front or rear axles of the car you can put your back stays in and then weld up here. I've, I've never been in a position where I couldn't weld over the top of that. You just get yourself in the back and weld it. If we look down, so if you look down from a bird's eye view like that, so then your roll cage will be um, coming across the car like that. Your front legs are going down like so. The windscreen bar I talked about and then if you are uh, following the regulations you can either put a V like this, it can go it can go that way, it can go the other way and then your back legs are going down here which are those there. If you are using this method here you have to reproduce the V going back that way and going back that way. So that is that section and as I said when it, the cage is down you can weld all of this across the top. When the cage is folded down that way you can weld all this around here. You can do all of these welds here in position. It just works fine. But you might want to have a cross in your car and if you do that you have you put a cross in the roof that way following by that way and if you do that you also have to put a cross in your back stays and wherever any cross happens it has in today's regulations which in Australia here is um, 
Cairns or Motorsport Australia, it was called Schedule J. And you had to put a gusset in there, 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 and there. So anyway, we'll go on with doing the cage in the car. Just arrived today. The Subaru is, it's gone. And this is coming to the workshop. It's a two-door Lotus Cortina going to be built into a rally car. Very clean body shell. Obviously been media blasted and uh, ready for a roll cage to go into it. Matter of fact, I've got to say it's probably the cleanest body shell I've ever, ever in my whole career. And that includes the new cars that we did. So I've just done my measurements inside and inside the roof of the car there. Setting up on the main hoop. So there's my measurements so far. I've just got to go now and do the angle at the top, which I had just remembered I hadn't done. That is the initial fit of the hoop, looking pretty good, got the floor plates done and uh, fitting nicely up here. 